Catch-22, a satirical novel by Joseph Heller, published in 1961, is set during World War II and follows the experiences of Captain John Yossarian, a U.S. Army Air Force's B-25 bombardier stationed on the fictional Mediterranean island of Pianosa. The novel is renowned for its dark humor, its critique of bureaucracy and the absurdity of war, and the circular logic of its central paradox from which it takes its name. The novel begins with Yossarian in the hospital, feigning a liver condition to avoid combat missions. His squadron is commanded by Colonel Cathcart, who continually raises the number of missions the men must fly to complete their service requirements, thus trapping them indefinitely. Yossarian is paranoid and terrified. He is convinced that everyone is trying to kill him, including his own superiors. This belief is not entirely unfounded, as the military keeps increasing the danger they face by upping the mission count. Catch-22 itself is a rule that becomes the novel's overarching metaphor for absurd bureaucratic constraints. The rule states that airmen who are insane are not obliged to fly missions. However, to be excused from duty, they must request a mental fitness evaluation, demonstrating their sanity and thereby qualifying them to fly. Thus, anyone who continues to fly is considered insane but rational for not asking to be grounded, while anyone who does ask cannot be considered insane and must therefore fly. As Yossarian struggles with this catch, a series of non-linear, overlapping, and out-of-sequence chapters introduce a large cast of characters. These include the opportunistic mess officer Milo Minderbinder, who prioritizes profit over human life, Doc Danica, the squadron's disinterested flight surgeon, Major, 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 an officer promoted due to an administrative error who becomes reclusive and unapproachable, and Chaplain Tapman, who experiences a crisis of faith. Milo Minderbinder's story exemplifies the perversion of values amidst the war. He builds a vast trade syndicate called m and Enterprises, claiming everyone has a share. However, his efforts lead to absurdities like bombing one's own airbase for profit and trading with the enemy. As a result of his actions, food supplies are diverted from the troops, all in service of Milo's expanding enterprise. The narrative features numerous flashbacks and digressions, gradually revealing pivotal events and tragedies. One such event is the gruesome death of Yossarian's comrade Snowden during a mission, which deeply affects him and makes the realities of war inescapably personal. It's only at the novel's end that the full details of Snowden's death are presented leaving a haunting impression on both Yossarian and the reader. Throughout the novel, Yossarian's encounters with death and insanity prompt him to take extreme measures to preserve his life. He moves the bomb line on the strategic map to create the illusion that the squadron has already captured a target, sabotages his own intercom to return to base, and confronts superiors in a fruitless attempt to be grounded. Meanwhile, Yossarian's friends and fellow airmen navigate their own surreal experiences. Nately, a young idealistic lieutenant, falls in love with a Roman prostitute and dreams of a serene future together, only to be killed on a mission. This leads to a tragic comic spiral where Nately's whore blames Yossarian for his death and repeatedly tries to kill him. The end of the novel approaches as Yossarian, pushed to his breaking point, refuses to fly any more missions. He is offered a deal by Colonels Cathcart and Korn, support them in a promotion bid, and he will be sent home with an honorable discharge. On the verge of accepting, Yossarian learns that his close friend Orr, who had previously disappeared, successfully escaped to neutral Sweden. This revelation inspires Yossarian to reject the deal. He instead resolves to desert the army and flee to Sweden to seek asylum taking a stand against an inhuman military system that values numbers and reputations over the lives of its soldiers. Confronted with the insanity of his surroundings, Yossarian's defiance becomes an assertion of life and individuality against the oppressive forces of the military-industrial complex. The novel ends with Yossarian stepping into the unknown, wounded but determined to escape the madness that has surrounded him throughout the story. Catch-22 remains an enduring symbol of the illogical nature of bureaucracy, the irrationality of war, and the struggle of the individual facing an absurd world.